It's a good day for football, man. Great day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, this game ain't nothing but a fight. We got to fight for four quarters, and we got to keep our focus. Brian going to throw a first professional pass. Caught a 62-yard strike. Jake the Lump is on fire. He makes a fantastic catch. I told you a long time ago, guys, don't ever let anybody tell you you can't, okay? Never. Never let anybody tell you you can't, because you can. Wildcat offense again, and it wants, now tips it back. Oh, my and God! Outfield wide open, touchdown Dolphins! What a play action made by Brett Moore! An amazing grab by Andre Johnson. Jackson's open, did he get both feet down? He did, Nate Jackson with the Denver touchdown. Offensively, got to change the pace of the game now. Don't let them get comfortable. Touchdown! Randy Moss! Let's go out, start it fast! Leave nothing on the field! Come out, swing it! Cardinals blocked it! It's picked up! It's a touchdown! Cardinals win! If you hit like that, and you play like that, you can beat anybody in the world on any given day. I want winners. I want people that want to win. We got a bunch of proud, valiant warriors. And the Ravens are in the end zone. We got a bunch of men in here that did something special. The Tennessee Titans are 7 0. Thomas dives into the end zone. Rosenthal rolls away. He's being chased. Yes. He has hit the ball and moved. This defense has been nothing less than spectacular. Beat him down. We're going to beat him down. And some open field now. And Seattle's 35. Cuts to his left. Spun around. Electrifying. Hand off Adrian's walking to the left across the 50. And out! And the best running back in the National Football League. Robo looking left. Scrambling. The versus field right. Stop. Point. A ridiculous throw to Terrell Owens. Devin Thomas's first touchdown in the NFL, and it is huge. I want to say three cheers. It's going to be a hip hip, and I want a hooray. Okay? <laughs> three cheers. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Now we go home like this. Yeah! yeah. Was it perfect? No. Nope. No, was it pretty? No. Nope. No, but it was us. It feels good. Though. It feels real good, and we're gonna get a lot better. If you can physically walk off this field tonight without help, then you have not done your job because you haven't left it on the field. Take care of the quarterback now. Take care of that quarterback. That's why we're in it. 
Bill Belichick knows that in the NFL, a franchise quarterback is a precious commodity. Brady's down, and he's in pain. The crowd is holding its collective breath because, let's face it, he's the franchise. When Tom Brady went down in the first quarter of the first game, New England stock fell like the market. There would be no perfect season this year, but there would be an imperfect one. It's going to take a physical investment. When it hurts, you're hurting, you're sore, you're tired. Guess what? Nobody gives a f No stimulus plan could jumpstart Detroit, who came in like a lion. Oh, he ran, out of, ran out of bounds. He ran out of the end zone. It's a safety. And went out like a lamb. Oh, 16! Oh, 16! Oh, 16! The Lions became the first team to go 0 and 16. But in the NFL, it doesn't take long to go from worst to first. Just ask Miami. The Dolphins have. Who brought in a tuna to school the Dolphins. In Bill Parcells, Miami had a new executive vice president. In Tony Sperano, they had a new coach who sounded a lot like Bill Parcells. Buckle them chin straps, prima donnas! They also had a new quarterback who lost his old job because the rival Jets had a new quarterback. They met in week one. Hey, big man. Have a break, man. Great, 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 great. Oh. Brett Favre may have changed uniforms, but he didn't change the way he played the game. Favre under pressure. Throws one up for grabs at the goal line. A leaping catch is made. Are you kidding me? There's a reason the Jets got Brett Favre. With Favre leading the way, the Jets, who won four games a year ago, came out of nowhere to become contenders. Eighteen years in the league, though. That's almost my entire life. I was six when he started playing. The old man was up to his old tricks. The Jets are starting to look like a team that could be AFC contenders, they could be Super Bowl contenders. Following back-to-back -back wins at New England and unbeaten Tennessee, the Jets and their nearly 40-year-old quarterback had to be flashing back 40 years. Favre's move to New York not only revived the Jets, but also the career of Chad Pennington. has Chad Pennington meant to the Miami Dolphins. Brett Favre was the best thing to ever happen to Miami. Pennington seemed reborn in Miami, where head coach Tony Sperano decided to resurrect an ancient offense. Six times in New England, the Dolphins lined up in a single wing formation. Four of those plays resulted in touchdowns. Are you kidding me? What hit them became known as Wildcat. Wildcat, that's our, that's our playbook now. Wildcat personnel. And Ronnie will take the direct snap. Hands it again. Up the middle is Ricky Williams, and he's gone. The Wildcat spread like wildfire. Quarterback on the sideline. Look for the Wildcat. I come that Wildcat. Let's see what y'all got. The Wildcat. Wildcat formation. All around the league, receivers and running backs started taking snaps. But no one ran the Wildcat. Wildcat offense again. Like the Dolphins. Now tips it back. Oh my and God! Outfield wide open. It's going to be a touchdown, Dolphins. That's where it's going to be. Whatever it takes. Even the Jets tried to mirror Miami's radical offense, but their execution was a poor imitation. And when it came to quarterback efficiency, Brett Favre fell far short of Chad Pennington. Favre led the league in interceptions, lost four of his last five games, and a summer which began with such high hopes turned into the winter of his discontent. His picture-perfect ending flamed out, and in the season finale, he watched the comeback player of the year come back to New York in search of a division title. Pennington pumps, steps up, looks right, throws right towards the end zone. It is caught. Dolphins got the football. They're headed toward the end zone. There's Bill O'Malley.
first time since 2000. Wow. In the NFL, a franchise quarterback is a precious commodity. And in 2008, the Dolphins found one who breathed new life into the franchise. Hey, why not us? Why not us? Why not us? Why not us? Right? This ball's gonna go right here to this quarterback. The Carolina Panthers jumped out to the NFC South lead with an offense that was planted firmly on the ground. Carolina scored a league-high 30 rushing touchdowns. DeLone hands the ball off. D'Angelo Williams got running room up the middle. D'Angelo, good balance. He's across midfield. He's to the 40. Raiders giving chase. D'Angelo Williams and rookie Jonathan Stewart, number 28, helped Carolina race to the division title. Receiver Steve Smith kept the Panthers from being one-dimensional. Steve Smith and a crowd of people makes the catch. You gotta be kidding me! I, 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 I'm speechless. No way. That's incredulous. You don't think I'm one of the best? You better check your reference. You can try to contain me, but you can't stop. Rejuvenated 37-year-old Kurt Warner made Arizona's passing game tough to contain. Leaders, baby. Leaders. Leaders. We'll follow. We'll be all right. Warner was the NFC's top-rated passer. Coach Ken Wisenhunt's Cardinals possessed a trio of receivers who each gained over 1,000 yards, including Larry Fitzgerald, number 11. That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. That's the way to go. Good job, Kurt. Although the Cardinals lost four of their final six games, they captured the weak NFC West with a fast start. Punt from his goal line. He's got it. Here they go. Cardinals blocked it. It's picked up. It's a touchdown. Cardinals win. How about that, Cardinals? <laughs> While the Cardinals cruised to their first playoff berth in a decade, the Chargers had a bumpy ride in the AFC West. They lost seven games by a touchdown or less. Four of those losses came in the final 30 seconds, including a controversial defeat in Denver. 38-31 San Diego. And Cutler rolling out. His pass knocked down. He lost it. It's picked up. The Chargers have it. Wait a minute. Wait, Jay Cutler's coming back on the field. How was that? Like, just an incomplete pass? I guess it's going to be called. At the 10? That can't be right. Play should have been ruled a fumble by rule. The ball was dead when it hits the ground because the whistle was blown. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's Denver's ball at the 10-yard line, which is the spot that the ball hit the ground. Third down. Four-man rush. Cutler looks at the end zone. Stops, throws, pass. Caught! And he rolled! Touchdown! 38-37 San Diego. What will the Broncos do? They're going for two. 24 seconds showing on the clock. Unbelievable. Cutler pumps once, fires end zone. It's 39-38 Denver. Broncos have stolen one to go to 2 and 0. Ed came over to me and said he blew it. Uh, and that's not, to me, acceptable. The specter of Ed Hockley seemed to haunt the Chargers, but they had only themselves to blame for falling to a 4 and 8 record. Still, one thing the team never lost was its swagger. It's still a 51 yarder. He ain't not hitting this. We're going into overtime. What happened last year to him? What did he do last year? He lost last year in the clutch. We're going in overtime. This is for the ball game. Low snap. The hold is down, though. The kick fluttering up there, heading up there. It is good, and Indianapolis wins. Another game by Phil Gold. In a season that has frustrated Charger fans to no end, again it comes down to the final seconds. For San Diego, catching the Broncos seemed like an impossible task. Armed with the AFC's most productive offense, Denver assumed a three-game lead in the division with three games remaining. You got to keep on fighting just like you did last game. Fight your in somebody's backyard. Proud of you. Enjoy the win. But behind Phillip Rivers, the NFL's top-rated passer, San Diego came alive down the stretch. In this reversal of fortune, the Chargers were now winning the close ones. Wow, 21-16 Kansas City. Rivers going play action to the end zone. Touchdown! Vincent Jackson with 36 seconds to go. The Chargers have a pulse. 
The Chargers won three straight games, and suddenly the Broncos were nervously checking their rearview mirror. The pressure is suffocating in Denver if you're a Bronco. Ready? Ready to Come on, B. Hampered by the AFC's most scored upon defense, Denver lost two out of three to set up one final showdown. So it'll come down to next week. The Broncos travel to San Diego. Whoever wins is in, and whoever loses is going home. The Chargers were about to make their biggest splash. It all comes down to this, because no team has ever started 4-8 and eight and still made the playoffs. The Chargers have their shot. San Diego's shot hit the mark, and the reeling Broncos self-destructed. Boy, if there was ever a picture of a four-year-old kid swallowing castor oil, that's what Jay Cutler looks like right now. Hand off Tomlinson, left side, 10, 5, the knockout punch, touchdown, San Diego! San Diego has bolted from the quicksand and stolen this division, 8-8. Eight and eight. A majestic, triumphant, glorious 8-8 eight and eight are the AFC West champions. We're the Tavs, boy. The boy. A furious and historic finish enabled the Chargers to overcome a frustrating start on the road to the Super Bowl. Yes, I just want to congratulate you. I tell you this, I love football. Love the National Football League. Football can break your heart, and the more you love it, the harder the fall. Hey, let's go. Good job, man. This season, Great nearly one-third of NFL head coaches packed their bags and moved on. Some didn't win a game, but none lost the feeling that drew him to coaching in the first place. Just when I think I figured you guys out, you surprised me. I mean, that was an awesome thing. I'll treasure it forever, and uh, I'll miss you guys. If Mike Holmgren looked like a man who's been to the mountain, rookie head coach John Harbaugh moved like a man eager to get there. Here you go, Wedge! It started in summer camp, where Harbaugh challenged his veteran team to push boundaries. Hey, man, you got to steal a rod that inside arm. What? Give him a little trip squeak like me across your face, are you, Joe? All right, here's the deal, man. If he makes it, we're off tonight. See you tomorrow morning for practice. <laughs> I see the defense isn't rushing. Cool. Oh, yeah! Oh! Hey, how come you didn't rush? Nobody rushed! <laughs> In the NFL, the rush is always on. Rookie or no, Joe Flacco was named the Ravens' starting quarterback. Hey, hey it's first and ten. If you don't like it, you write this speech, move on. The Rooks got an arm. Even better, he kept mistakes to a bare minimum, allowing the league's most savage defense to bare its teeth. Pull. <laughs> Ruthless and relentless, the Ravens' defense simply took what it liked and went where it wanted, blazing a path to the AFC playoffs as a wild card. You gotta see the big picture. We're gonna be the first team where a rookie quarterback win a Super Bowl, and the first team with a rookie head coach to win a Super Bowl. Hey, 20. Uber Athletic, Baltimore's defense overwhelmed the Dolphins, forcing five Miami turnovers in the Ravens' rout. The wheels had come off for the Dolphins. That meant the end of their road to the Super Bowl. Hey, hey, Ravens! And while the Ravens and their rookie head coach were still running at full tilt, Falcons rookie head coach Mike Smith was teaching his young team how to stand and deliver. 
Make a call and do it with conviction. Conviction, like you know what you're doing. Confidence can take a team a long way. So can a rookie quarterback who plays the game as well as Matt Ryan. Here we go. Casual Express. Zero classy. 335. Wago right max. Z pump. Ready? Ready! We go! Ryan going to throw. First professional pass. Caught. Jenkins. 30. 25. 20. His first professional pass is a 62-yard strike. Ryan played with nerve and skill, won Rookie of the Year honors, and even the admiration of opposing defenses. In other words, hey, two. he was money. Hey, two, throw me one. I got a hundred for you. Throw me one. You got me? It's 200. Running back Michael Turner not only gave the Falcons speed and power, but swagger. Hey, good blocks on the edges now. This thing may bust open. Be ready. Run the ball. We're running it right here. Stop it. You stop it. Ooh, he's hot. First down here. This is Turner. 20. Mark. 15. 10. Michael Turner. Touchdown, Atlanta Leagues. By season's end, the Falcons were more than a sensation. They were a genuine threat, earning an NFC wildcard berth and a trip to the Arizona desert. Damn, this place is loud. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, I love it. We get to, hey, we get to quiet them down. To stop the Cardinals, you must stop their astounding passing game. In the playoffs, no one has. Going to throw deep. Near side going for Fitz. He's in double coverage. It doesn't matter. Touchdown, Cardinals! The Cardinals' defense has been every bit as exhilarating. Cardinals knock off the Falcons. <laughs> it was the Cardinals' first playoff win at home in 60 years. First thing I want to say. First thing I want to say. Winning on the road in the playoffs is something else. But then, so is Larry Fitzgerald. They're going to throw to 11, Fox! They're going to throw to number 11! Cover the guy! Throwing right side, Fitz open! Out of the five, heading for the pylon! And he is going to be ruled! Yeah. The Panthers couldn't break through, and the Cardinals wouldn't relent. Carolina's season ended in the January darkness, but hope and faith still lit Arizona's way. You're playing your best football at the right time of year. Yeah. We're on this journey together as a team. Yeah. Keep believing in each other. Nobody can stop us. Great job, guys. In 2008, he couldn't hide his frustration at the Colts' 3-4 and four start. But Manning rallied his team. His bum left knee hardly affected his rocket right arm. He's got a touchdown! The Colts won nine straight to end the regular season, and Manning won his third MVP award. Throw the ball to the back of the end zone. Oh, Reggie's got it! Oh, yeah, MVP, we coming! But in Tony Dungy's final game, and for the second year in a row, the Colts lost to the Chargers in the playoffs. 15-10-5-Jackpot! He got it! He got it! will have to wait another year for a shot at a second Super Bowl. Brother Eli began the season hoping for a second straight. Touchdown, Eli Manning! Nice breaking out his Super Bowl moves with the nifty feet. There was no Super Bowl hangover for the Giants. They won 11 of their first 12 games.
The best minds in the NFL couldn't figure out a way to stop the Giants. Back to throw has time. Throws to the end zone for Burris. Touchdown, Giants. But eventually, they slowed themselves. Plaxico Burris leaving a police precinct in Manhattan Monday morning in handcuffs after surrendering on a weapons possession charge. Chaos was common in the NFC East, especially in Dallas. But when you assemble a galaxy of stars, there's bound to be some combustion. Adam Jones suspended by NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell for at least four games. All kinds of distractions with the Cowboys. Who's conspiring with whom? At the center of the Cowboys universe was Terrell Owens. And Owens at the 25 over the shoulder, strolling in. Terrell Owens. Sometimes Owens and the Cowboys look. What's the only thing passing to you? Oh. What's the only thing passing to you? Ferrari? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep pace with all the stars was head coach Wade Phillips. But when he took his team to New York, the Ferraris were run over by a Mack truck. What a pitiful display of rough defense by the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys weren't the only team beaten by the Giants' combination of Earth. Boy, he's big. Look at that. What a horse. Win. Derek Ward, over 200 yards rushing. And fire. There goes Bradshaw. Will anybody catch him? You play in the NFC East, you better be able to run the football. Not everyone seemed to subscribe to that philosophy. Let's go now. Let's throw the football, man. Throw the football. Perhaps the reason Philly preferred the pass is that when they had to run it for a tough yard, they rarely seemed to get it. And now the game for Philadelphia sits on this next play. And Westbrook scrolls forward. He is considerably short, and the Giants take over on downs, and they can run this out. What probably didn't help matters for the Eagles is that a city starving for a championship finally had a winner. This team's good. These guys know how to play. The low point came when they were blown out by Baltimore. Donovan McNabb has been pulled by Andy Reid. Everybody better pick their game up and let's go. Donovan benched is five, finished in Philly. Following the first benching of his career, Donovan McNabb threw four touchdown passes. But more importantly, the Eagles rediscovered a running game. Suddenly the Giants are wondering what hit them? Nice job. Hey, let's go, go to your knee. He said I could pray. Yeah, but everybody came and prayed with you, dude. The Eagles' prayers were answered when both the Bears and Buccaneers lost in Week 17, making the regular season finale against Dallas a de facto playoff game. The Eagles didn't exactly back into the playoffs, but in the wild card round, they proved they belonged. He's at the Westbrook. He's at the 30. Cuts to the outside, 35 40. Westbrook at the 25 20. 15 10 5. Westbrook! Touchdown! They shouldn't have never opened up the door they to let us in. But we in there. Continue to kick each door down. Never have I heard the hate word used so much in one week. I don't use words like hate, but I just hate them dudes. I hate McNabb, I hate Runyon, I hate all of them. The Giants may hate McNabb, and they harassed him, but they couldn't hold him. Looks, floats it into the end zone, touchdown! In the end, the team that struggled most of the year to gain the tough yards. Fourth down and two. Shut down the NFL's number one ranked rushing team. He is short! What a stand! The Eagles have beat the Bears, and they are heading to Arizona. One win from the Super Bowl. Oh, I will go to war with this courageous yes, idiot yes, yes, no, 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 no. in the National Football League. Right here, baby. And Young will drop to his knees, and is going to have to come out. Vince Young's injury should have been the end of the road for Jeff Fisher's Titans in 2008. 
rolling around on the ground. Vince took a pretty good shot. I mean, he got rolled up on that left leg. Young's replacement was the not so young Kerry Collins. But the 36 year old journeyman knew how to win the old fashioned way. Collins drops the throw, fires deep downfield. Man is there, it's Gage. He caught it. The Tennessee Titans are in control of the AFC South. The Titans' formula was simple tough physical defense. Everybody make sure they get a piece of this lion we have it for Thanksgiving. It's a screen in the middle, intercepted day ball. Touchdown, tight. And a running game built around the smash and dash backfield of Lindell White and rookie Chris Johnson. He dances his way into the end zone. We find a way to win ball games. Every week we find a way to win it. The Titans juggernaut rolled through the fall like the old Lombardi sweep. Everybody knew what was coming. Hey, they're coming this way. Come on. But nobody could stop it. On the weak side run, it's in the secondary. 40 yard line. Landell White has just gone 80 yards for a big six. What oxygen? You need oxygen. <laughs> the Titans were playing in rarefied air. When Tennessee finally lost, oh. it was clear the only team that could beat the Titans was the Titans. The undefeated Titans are undefeated no more. On the road to the Super Bowl, Tennessee was in the driver's seat. The 2008 AFC South Division champion resides in Nashville. The Titans win the division. Go get it! Go get it! For most of 2008, Mike Tomlin's Pittsburgh Steelers were hot on Tennessee's heels. It's not only a big win, but it's an old-fashioned butt whooping. His Steelers survived the NFL's toughest schedule because they had the NFL's toughest defense. 16, come to get you on the Linebacker James Harrison, number 92, was the defensive player of the year, forcing an NFL high seven fumbles. Oh, he is at that level. James Harrison. He just strips the ball out of Lawrence Taylor. For the entire season, the Steelers did not allow a 100-yard rusher or a 300-yard passer. This defense has been nothing less than spectacular. One second, my baby. That's our defense. While the Steelers' defense beat down opponents, Ben Roethlisberger was beat up. He is getting hit at every opportunity. He doesn't know what happened. You know, he doesn't know what to do, which way to turn. Big Ben got his clock cleaned, but the Steelers' quarterback proved he could take a licking and keep on ticking. Touchdown, Ben! Especially in crunch time. 159 to go. Steelers down by one. Ben is going to throw it. He throws it now. A little timing pattern. It's caught for a touchdown. Game on the line. It looks right. Nothing there. Scampers left. Looks. Stops. Now comes back to his right. Throws the pass. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Steelers are AFC North Division champions. Hey, that's the way you play football, boy. When the Steelers finally played the Titans in December, home field advantage was at stake. Not many chances. You get an opportunity to show the world that you're the best. We win this game, 2008, regular season. We're the best team in the world. It was no contest. They pitched Johnson. Johnson going left. 15, 10, 5, in zone. Touchdown, Titans. Tennessee stomped all over Pittsburgh. But in the playoffs, the Steelers refused to throw in the terrible towel. Come on, pound this thing now. Pound this damn thing. Toss to the left. Parker's in the end zone. And pulled the plug on the Chargers. San Antonio Holmes takes over the man at the 10. The Pittsburgh Steelers advance to the AFC Championship game. 
In Nashville, the Titans' dream season ended in a nightmare against Joe Flacco and the Ravens. Throws deep, far sideline. He's got Mason at the 10. Five, touchdown! Oh, what a throw by Joe Flacco. There's no time to come back to the huddle and say my fault. It's time to do what we do. What the Ravens did was wear down the Titans. Algie Crumpet. Oh, 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 oh. Fumbles the ball at the goal line. And after forcing three turnovers in the red zone, they torpedoed the AFC's top seed. Final minute, regulation tied at 10. Kick on the way. It's it long enough, and it is it's good! There would be no rematch in Nashville between the Steelers and Titans, but there would be a third battle between the Ravens and Steelers. The NFC Championship game. Winner goes to the Super Bowl. Let's be electrifying today, baby. We come out of that tunnel, let's be electrifying. All eyes on us. All eyes on us. The weather is cold, the adrenaline is high. It's AFC Championship Sunday. Bitter rivalry with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line. Lead on the line, baby. Everything you got today, baby. We ain't got nothing to lose. Let's go out there and ball out. In about three hours, we'll be on our way to Tampa. One game away from the big dance, baby. And I like dancing. Woo, ready for it, huh? Warner takes, has time, looks left, throws over the middle of the fence, caught inside the five, breaks a tackle, and Fitz is in! Touchdown, Cardinals! Upset eye, Fitzgerald wide to the right, put Warner under center. Warner takes, it's a pitch to Arrington. He's going to throw, he's going to throw it back to Kurt. Far side of the 25. Now Warner going deep. Airing it out. Middle of the field. Vince is there. He corners the 10. Touchdown! There is trouble in the desert. Ben is back. He steps up. He has a little time. Now he's going to throw it to the near sideline. And it's caught by Santonio. Defender down. Catch to the middle of the field. Gets by another defender. Picks up a block on the 30. The 25, the 20. Santonio.
Fitzgerald is literally trying to will this team to victory right now. Warner's got the ball. Back to throw. Pumps right. Throws back to the left. Hightower caught at the 10. Cuts left to the 5. Hightower to the goal line. And touchdown! And the Cardinals retake the lead with 2.53 to go. We are destined to become champions. Turn over to him. Let's go. The clock at 4.43 and winding. Flacco with the gun. He's back. He throws the pass, and it's intercepted! Troy Polamalu, and this place is on fire! The Pittsburgh Steelers win the AFC title game. Let's shut this down, man. Two minutes will be great, man. Let's go be great. McNabb is back. He floats it. Are the NFC champions. Call up your travel agent. We're going to Tampa. On the road to the Super Bowl, only two teams remain. Now, they compete for a prize only one can win. <laughs>